Wow. Ooh. Oh my. I think we're gonna have a winner in terms of performance in this test. We're back with another edition of the best of 2023. Today, Fairway Woods. We've got five models new here in 2023, and we've got Kevin Kraft here to do some testing, hit some shots, and we'll tell you guys everything you need to know about that Fairway Wood decision that you need to make here this year. Golfers, subscribe to the YouTube channel, give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments which of these Fairway Woods is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter. We're at the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van location. It's a busy day today. The, <laughs> the uh, I think the sort of inkling for golf is here, loud and proud in Minnesota right now. The fact that people can actually look outside and see grass yeah. is probably a big positive yes. at this point. Yes, because so. you know full well when yeah. you were here a few months ago that it was there was no grass to be seen anywhere. It was, was just white outside. You just didn't want to be alive. Yeah. Like, yeah. you just didn't even want to be alive. Yeah. <laughs> it was like minus 20 we went to eat. Oh, yeah. so miserable. So, a little better now. This I don't is know the time of year where we get excited, and it's not yeah. even, we can't even golf yeah. for another month. Yeah. Uh, so, five fairy woods, yeah. new for 2023. Uh, tell us about just maybe what's been doing well, and I guess what you look for in fittings when, you know, people are looking for a fairy wood. Yeah. Uh, so, when we're looking for fairway woods, we're we're really looking for a. You know, we got we gotta have a conversation. We gotta yeah. see what that fairway wood's gonna be used for. Whether, like me, I use mine for driver replacement. Whether yeah. this will be used primarily coming into the greens, or whether, yeah. it's, you know, good combination of both. So, uh, trajectory becomes a big a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, shot shape, uh, dispersion on fairway woods also pretty important so we're gonna look at all those all those dynamics yeah. what we've got here today these are all the standard versions yes of, of yes things. so so important um, to note because yeah. there are multiple models depending yes. on the yes. manufacturer uh, so but everybody here is 15 degrees mm -hmm. and yeah so. yeah so we've got and we've got you know the the similar type shafts that are available with yep. um, each of them at stiff flex so yep. i think as really as close as we kind of can right at the moment but yeah. Uh, we've got the Titleist TSR2, which was a release last fall, yep. and then four that have been released in 2023, yeah. which is the Callaway Paradigm, the Cobra Aerojet, the Ping G430 Max, and the TaylorMade Stealth 2. So um, a lot of hype around all of these, uh, but I mean, I know obviously the number one thing is gonna be the performance. And yeah. then we'll also talk a little bit about the look and the feel and sound sure. and kind of the innovation piece as well, maybe dive yeah. into that and do a little bit of ranking at the end of this thing. Yeah, from a, from a what's, what's kind of been working so far this year, uh, you know, Titleist stuff's just fantastic. They set the bar so high when they launched in the in the fall. Um, Paradigm's been very popular. Anytime mm -hmm. Callaway's got an adjustable fairway wood, right. good, good things yep. are gonna happen. Yep. Um, you know, obviously we got a new Ping product, very, very good. Um, just a really good, clean look. It's such a great looking fairway wood. Mm -hmm. um, Stealth's doing pretty well too. Kind of the one that, that sort of if any of these kind of fall by the wayside, it does tend to be the Cobra. Cobra is getting a lot of love in the in the driver it segment, is, yes, but it hasn't really translated into into the fairway wood segment mm. as much. So we'll see how it stacks up against all the rest, yeah. and maybe people should be taking a look. At exactly, that. exactly. Well, you ready to hit some shots here? Well, yeah, let's do that. We'll figure things out. TSR two. Ooh, that's a good sh good start there. Nice. So, because because with the, I mean with the three wood, you're looking for about three thousand spin usually. Yeah. Give yeah. Uh, maybe it differs depending on if you're hitting off a tee or whatever. But yeah, yeah, just depending on what we're what we're trying to use it for. Right. I think in that three thousand neighborhood is good for a combination of, mm -hmm. of things. Right for my driver replacement, I'm trying to put you know trying to get it down around twenty three, twenty four hundred. Sure. So uh, I do want it to go as far as possible. But these are all at fifteen degrees and. That was ripped. Four enough. So TSR2, Kevin, um, how about the look? I mean, just you look down at that club, is it, what's the feedback like that is triggered in your brain immediately? Good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks great. Uh, it's it's very clean. I mean, Titleist is known for yeah. kind of a, a a particular shape, and this stays true to what they're what they are as a company. And yeah. it just looks 
It just looks good. Yeah, I think it just looks good. I think they've really cleaned up their woods really yeah. well throughout this yeah. kind of yeah. yes, this Titleist yeah. Speed project. Yeah. Um, TSR I mean, is just, yeah. I mean, across the board, TSR is just awesome. Yeah, it's really good. It's been superb, and to see yeah. the the momentum for it carry through the new other manufacturer releases in January, uh, yeah. I think kind of, kind of, you know, it shows how good that the product yeah, really it's, are. Yeah, it's so. a very exciting time in, in the golf yeah. industry for sure. Uh, this feels fantastic. Yeah. Um, launch angle's fine. Good carry, good mm -hmm. total, 105 feet in the air, 43 on landing angle. So very good in terms of a an all around yep. golf club. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there is also the TSR2 Plus model that if you were yes. looking for that driver yes. replacement Actually, type. Actually two versions of it now. <laughs> they have so multiple lofts of it, right? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yep. They've, they've just thrown out a new 14 and a half degree okay. model. So. so they had the 13 and a half and they had that. Yep. So um, a lot of good stuff there from, yeah. from Titleist. Yep. So. For sure. Moving into Paradigm, that's going to be a different look for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like the way this looks. Yeah. It's it's a little bit flatter and a little bit wider than my Triple Diamond. Right, but which... It's, but it's... That's what they're going for. They're going for probably a little, with it being flatter, probably a little bit easier launch. Yep, absolutely. Lower center of gravity, absolutely. and then uh, it's more forgiveness. Fairway woods are tough, man. Whether yeah. it's whether it's in here or whether it's outdoors, fairway oh, yeah. woods are tough. Oh, yeah. So. Wow. Did that feel like it was that low spin? That felt amazing. All right. Oh, that's good. I have that's... to say. That felt really good. It's going to fall off a little to the right as well. God, that's Not too bad, though. Not interesting on the spin there. We had a really low and a really high there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Turn that one over. Personally, I kind of like the really low. Yeah. That was a little... I, I, little for using it off the one. tee. Yeah, yeah. Launched. That was hammered. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the Paradigm, uh, how about the look of that compared to the TSR that you just hit? So it's not quite as clean. Uh, we have the we have the gray and then the blue. So there's there's that contrast mm -hmm. there. Um, I don't have any issues with it. I play it. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it. Um, purely from a from a what do I really like the look of? Yeah, I mean, I love this blue. This blue, I think, is awesome. But I like the cleanness of yeah. the of the Titleist head. Right. There's just you. I mean, it's 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 such a simple looking. Yeah. You yeah. Know, I mean, there's just for the. I mean, there's just nothing there. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And there's a little bit more to yeah. there's take a little, in. There's with a little the bit more going on. Here, Which I mean, people you know, like it. People the brands, don't. you're gonna have some stuff that has a oh, little yeah. bit more going on. Right. So yeah. Right. That's just how it is. But yeah. um, here's the Aerojet model. Okay. Um, distance wise, we obviously in performance wise, we definitely saw a difference there. Paradigm's going a little bit farther. Yeah, with, well, with you, look at, this, spin you look at that spin rate average. Yeah, so, and, uh, and like you said, as you were hitting, that's something for you in particular, you would want the lower spin for, yeah. for a fairy wood. Yeah. So, um, yep. But for some people that might need more height or might use it for more off the turf than off the tee, you might want more spin. So, yeah. You know. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good. You said you struggle with these, but I haven't really seen it yet. Little miss, but not like terrible. Okay. Distance wise, it went the same, I think. Yeah. So. Ooh, there's some speed again. Yep. I am very excited about this dispersion pattern so far. I gotta say. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. Okay. Every now and then. What do you want to see first, dispersion or table? <laughs> Let's show dispersion. I know you're excited. <laughs> oh, there it oh, is. Oh, hello. Okay. She's, yep. a, she's a little right biased, which is interesting. Because, it is. Because looking down at this golf club, it looks close. Does it? it interesting. Does. First thing I noticed when I put it down was it's very roundy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the face looked shut. Okay. So... My fear was right. that. 
Well, and then, you know, who knows? Obviously, who knows? Yeah, Maybe yeah, that subconsciously yeah. played into your swing a little bit and you're like, and you kind of guard yourself from the left and yeah. that was a result. But that, that's pretty cool dispersion. Yeah, no, um, it's To see it that close good. together. And yeah. you really had the one miss, which is, which is, you know, interesting because I think it was this shot here. Yes. You missed, hit it low, but see how it's the same spot, basically? Yeah. The total distance is actually the longest one, which is because of the lower so, spin. Truth be told, on the golf course, that wouldn't have happened. I got away with it on the mats because I caught just right. a little bit behind yeah. it. It took some spin off. Still managed to power it up in the air. Yeah. But on the golf course, I would not have Unless it's really that. firm. Unless it's really firm. Yeah. yeah. You never know. People in Texas are like, actually, I get away with that all the time. <laughs> That's probably so, right. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. We can now try was, G430 max. Okay. How about that one at address? It's good. It's clean. Yeah. Yep. I, I love the, honestly, I love the lack of turbulators. Yeah, the that's right. They've kind of, they fluctuated a little bit, having them on the fairways and off, yeah. then the hybrids on and off, you know? I've, I became more excited about the ping stuff when turbulators went away. Mm -hmm. I don't, they don't bother me, right? They're, yeah. They're, they're there. There's but kind it of a lot It seems like something on, that, but, you know, I, I, I think most players, they'll live with it or they don't care. Yeah. But there are enough out there where they look at it and the advantages it might give you, it might not be quite worth yeah. it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. A little spinny. That was rocket. Yep. Very consistent ball speed off this one. Yeah. Just the spin has fluctuated a little and I've, bit. And I've shown that I've got all the shots. Yeah, you have. I got the right, I got the left, I got the center. That's just a workable fairway wood. <laughs> yes. You got the high cut. It the, is a workable fairway wood, and it is the work of a of a golfer. Yeah. Right? I like that. That's a good way to put it. Oh, that, that's fine. That's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, G430. Yeah. I saw you kind of tilt the head a little bit to yeah. get a look at the dispersion. Yeah. Um, thoughts on this one? Um, it feels great. Uh, ball feels like it jumps off the face really well. Yeah. Um, spin rate a little higher, probably because I had the one that was a big spinner. Sure. Um, you know, I'm not. I, I think it's, to me, encouraging to see the. The big spinner carry, uh, yeah. you know, what, like 10 yards, eight yeah. yards shorter? I mean, it's jumped up and spin about 800 or 600 RPM from yeah. the average. But to see it not really go that much shorter is, I think, encouraging. And then all, these well, three that, that you hit solid are in the yeah. same spot. And that goes, to, that goes to the forgiveness of the golf club. Yeah. You know, that's that's what, what Ping's known for. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. But it's it's good, feels nice coming off club face. Well, time for TaylorMade. All right. TaylorMade Stealth 2. Stealth 2. Okay. Now that I've got the f fingerprints off of this uh, glossy head. Is that my fault? Feel, no. <laughs> no. It's, uh, this has been handled by a lot of people, and mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have fingerprints on, on glossy head. So um, <clears throat> I like the shape. I like the look. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that they've gone dark and dark. Yeah. Um, but like too toned in a way, though. Yeah. Yeah. But it could less, help with alignment. Less if, pronounced. Know. Yeah. So less distracting. Sure. I mean, I got a little bit of shiny quarter syndrome, so you know, ooh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm fr fairly easily distracted. Sure. So. Ooh, there's a good start. Mm. Yeah, that was, there's a good start. That was bueno. I like that one. Not even as fast. Wow. Ooh, we have a ball speed leader, and that is Taylor Mage Stealth 2. Oh my. Oh my. There we go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Wow. So, I think we're gonna have a winner in terms of performance in this test. Wow. It's pretty good. Because it's not, you didn't swing it the fastest either. There was a couple that you swung it right in the middle, but the ball speed is just so much higher. Smash factor, spins in a really good spot, carries easily the farthest. That's 
pretty good from Stealth 2. Wow. I mean, Paradigm and Stealth 2 right there up against each other. Imagine yep. that, those two companies going. Right. Head Actually, head, total right? distance Paradigm's further because yeah. of the lower spin. Because but... lower spin, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, so if I, if I actually, if I go like this, you can see then the Paradigm. You got this yeah. one up here that went how far? <laughs> went way far. Oh, that's not what I tried to click on. <laughs> 278. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's a nice number. I so like I'm about to look and, and feel that one before we kind of start doing some rankings here. I mean, it feels great. Yeah. Feels really solid. Look is great. Um, there's nothing not to like here. Yeah. yeah. It's been solid. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I know there's always a lot of hype around TaylorMade Woods. So yeah, it's cool I mean, when they deliver, right? They've, and, uh, yeah, they've been, we've been doing very well with the Stealth 2 Fairway Woods, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. And I just, I'm impressed with, just, I mean, you immediately like jumped up in speed a little bit with that one. So, I mean, that was cool to see. Truth be told, all those are 70 gram shafts. This one's a 60, 60 okay. weight class. So this one was- So this that was, could be playing a factor. This was 10 grams lighter. Okay. Which then obviously indicates to me that I do better with a lighter weight shaft. A little more efficient perhaps. Yeah, yeah. But and no, no loss of, of dispersion right. really either. Oh, so, not at all. Yeah. So, all right. Well, um, we want to rank a little bit? Yeah, let's rank these things. Go ahead. All right, Mr. Craft testing complete. Uh, time to rank now. So that was fun. That was some good testing. We that saw some bombs. Yeah. Um, I see, from my vantage point, I see two dispersion circles that really kind of stand out. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. One of them is very small. <laughs> one of them is the very small. The other one's a little bit up the map, but also small. Yeah. So. Uh, but let's talk about the look first. So we okay. talked a little bit throughout kind of the, at yep. the look and, and yep. some feedback there. Uh, your favorite three woods here by look, the top three. Okay. Uh, from a look standpoint, Titleist TSR2. Sure. Taylor made Stealth 2. Yep. And I'm going to go ping in terms okay. of looks. So I have to... I have to mention, I think it seems like you picked the crowns with less color variation on them. Is there a reason for that or that just is the way just it worked out? kind or? of how it worked out. Yep. Um, maybe unknowingly I like a cleaner yep. looking top line than... Yeah, because that's just, I mean, but, th this yeah. is as clean as it gets right there. Yes, right? absolutely. Uh, Taylor made you mentioned the... Uh, very, it's very similar. Uh, yep. Very little in terms of right. of this space here, yeah. right? So not mm -hmm. distracting, and ping, very clean. Right, very yeah. clean. So um, yeah, yeah. So now, how about feel and sound? I mean, is there anything jumped out at you there? Um, um, and though in the top three there. Yeah, actually, the the stealth two felt the best okay. overall. Um, Callaway was next. Okay. And Titleist was third. Okay. Nice. So we're forming something here. Titleist has been in the top three in both. Yep. Uh, Taylor Mate has also been in the top three in both. But yep. now we're getting to the point where we talk about what's up there performance wise. Mm -hmm. So we hit all five. We saw some differences yeah. throughout. Yeah. Um, talk to me about top three here. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't think it was. I was, That's, I was, I was going to make a comment that, that if you didn't pick that, that one. That one's so. a no-brainer. Yeah. and we'll go here. Okay. Yep. And it was the furthest after that. After that, it, it, it gets a little bit weird. It um, does. It does. Because, I mean, from an overall performance standpoint, technically the Cobra. Yeah. Wins, but I'm actually going to take the Titleist okay. instead. I just. I would have a hard time looking down at the Aerojet. Yeah, I, so that kind of I, is... I love okay. Cobra product. I, I play a lot of Cobra product. Mm. I've never really been able to get their fairway woods in, mainly due to spin problems. Okay. Right? I've had, I've tried every generation of, of fairway, of Cobra fairway wood, but because I want driver replacement, yeah. and the spin tends to be closer to 3,000, 3,200, yeah. what do we have? 3,151. 3, 3, yeah. And I'm really looking, you know, I'll go stronger lofted and that'll change a little bit, but 
I'm looking to push down lower because I, I just want to hit it as hard as I can hit it. Yeah. Right. So uh, I'm that guy, right? Yep. I'm that guy that comes in and just wants to hit it as far as he can <laughs> hit it. Uh, but with that particular club, yeah. So, well, and I think it's interesting uh, that I, if I remember correctly, this was the model you have, well, the, the triple diamond. I have the triple diamond. The triple diamond in your bag. Yes. And it was the lowest spinning one in this test. Yes. So things are kind of aligning and yes. it's almost like you know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm what I'm looking yeah. for in a, in a golf club. Yeah. yeah. Well, lastly here, let's cover, you know, some some tech talk a little bit and you know, some, some innovation pieces. Sure. Um, it's ranking top three of innovation. Um, again, these are the probably the five most popular manufacturers yes. out there. So we're always yes. pushing the envelope. So yep. um, is there a top three you have in, in that category? Um I mean, I think it's kind of hard not to not to throw Callaway kind of at the at the mm -hmm. top of that. I mean, they they with their AI designs yep. and the, yep. the and their uh, carbon frame, mm -hmm. it's just yeah. it's, it's given them a a little bit of a leg up. Yep. I think this year, mm -hmm. um, all that discretionary weight. Right. You know, it's it's funny or you, you hear three grams, five grams discretionary weight, and they're talking, you know. More tons of weight, yeah. like mm -hmm. tons of weight that they can make a golf club more stable yeah. and, and, and do things. Um, you know, TSR from from TS to TSI to TSR. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this thing's just been amazing. Yes, absolutely yes. amazing. And across the across the, the mm -hmm. entire group. And then, I mean, I, I would go ping. As, yeah. as my as my third in terms of innovation, yeah. Uh, from from generation to generation, sure. Uh, with the spin consistency, yeah. oh god, I said it right. You did. That's crazy. Uh, without even thinking about it. No, which it's, is weird. Yeah, you're, Normally, I mean that's after a few months you you got it. Well, I had it last year, but last year it was just called Spin City because that was yeah, all I yeah. could do. You know? <laughs> uh, so I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better with it. Uh, you know, I, I just think the I think the pings. Yeah. Fantastic. It is a cool. Um, design that they've had there with that, just to lower the loss a little bit on the bottom yeah, of the face. Yeah. Um, it's a cool idea. Where do we normally hit it? We're normally going to catch it. it a little thin, yep. right? Yep. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, yep. um, thank you for that insight. Really good stuff. Hey, uh, yeah. The golfers now have some have a better idea of yeah. if they're looking for something new. Ferrywood yeah. this year and in, in 2023, five models here we tested. We told you all about um, some of the tech, obviously all the data, and then we also yeah. did some some rankings. So. If you have any other questions, of course, you know to talk to us at Second Swing, get fit, yep. um, get to, with an expert like Kevin, and we'll get you dialed in with that fairy wood. Make sure that that bridge between driver and then maybe down to the hybrid or irons in your bag is a good, solid bridge, covers all the bases you need. So, Absolutely. Uh, thanks for joining, Kevin. Great stuff. Great.